All right, good day everyone. Welcome to ITS 306 Web Development 2. My name is Julius, your instructor. Today we're going to have another pre-recorded class. This is in continuation to our lesson about e-commerce using Bootstrap. So be sure to watch the entire video and uh, please listen carefully. Right after this, there will be learning assessment and assignment. So basically we're going to check your progress. And then next week, we're going to schedule our final examination. Take note, your final examination will include a written exam or basically an objective examination using Google Form. And then the second part would be your output on your e-commerce website. Okay. So if you have any questions or clarification, please feel free to send it in through our Facebook chat group. And without any further ado, let's get started. So previously, we've already discussed about um, how to use Bootstrap, and then we've already created some of the websites like the landing page, adding more web pages to it, and this time around, we're going to finalize all the web pages that we'll be needing for our website. Okay. So just a review, an e-commerce refers to buying and selling of goods and services or transmitting of funds and data over an electronic network, primarily the internet. So basically, the e-commerce that we decided to create is a shoe website, all right? So basically, the people or yeah, the consumer will be able to um, view sh the shoes and then filter it through by categories like men, women, and kids. And then we can also filter it by uh, the brand, all right? And uh, so far, this is what, um, okay, just a review again. Let's continue with the review. This would be our checklist. So the web pages that will be created, that will that we're going to create would be the landing page, which we're already done. And then the web pages for men's, women's, and kids. Basically, this web pages will contain all the um, shoes for men, women, and kids, and that that's for all brands. And then product detail, and then add edit shoes. All right. So basically, that is what we're going to continue working on today the product detail and add edit shoes since we're already done with the landing page, the men's, women, and kids. And again, product detail and add edit shoes. And then of course, we're going to create the web page for the brand since we haven't done that last time. All right, and this is how it's gonna look like. This is the landing page, which we've already done it. And then we have the men's shoes. Basically, it's going, going to be similar with the women's and kids. And then basically, it's going to be the same with the brands as well. And then this is what we're going to create today. The product information. And below the product information will be the list of similar products and then add or edit shoes page or the form All right so again we're going to continue working on this today and then in our next meeting we will we will continue with our php my sql discussion All right so let's check out our website All right, so this is where we stopped last time. We were able to create the landing page, the men, women, and then kids pages. And this time around, we're going to create ones for our um, for our brand, as well as we're going to create the product information and add edit choose. Okay, so let's start. Let's open up our IDE. So we'll we'll start with the brand or yeah the brand pages. So we're going to create a new file. So on your in your case just open up your folder and then just create a new file and then let's call it brands and then we'll start with nike.php all right so that means this page will display if i'm going to click brands and then click nike all right so 
I have here brands and that brands dash Nike dot PHP. So basically, we're just going to copy whatever it is that we did with uh, let's say the women dot PHP. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it right here. Let's save that, and then essentially let's update our links. Let's go back to starting from the index since we've already created a link for our Nike for our Nike brand. So we're also going to add that in our navigation. This one right here. So this is our navigation. We're just going to add the link. So let's open it up. So let's say it's gonna be brands dash Nike dot PHP. So that means if I'm going to click this link it will route me to this web page. So now that we're at it, we're just going to add the same thing with the rest of the brands. Although we haven't created it yet, but it would be para ready na. So brands adidas .php and then brands under armor .php same thing with the rest of the pages. And then brands new balance.php and brands puma.php. Ah, oh, this is shoe pala. This is shoe. And then here for the puma, let's add brands.puma.php. And then lastly, brands Jordan, right? Dot PHP. Okay, let's save that. And essentially, we're just going to do the same thing for the men, women, kids, and our, of course, brand Nike. So we're just going to copy this. All the LIs, we're going to copy that. We'll paste it right here. Let's look for the navigation here. All right, let's paste that. Oops. Let's let's paste it right here. My apologies, that's not it. Here it is. Let's paste it right here. Let's say that. And then for the women, let's look for the navigation. Here it is. Let's paste it. And kids, let's do the same thing. All right, let's paste it. So why is it why is it exactly that we're doing this that way? So let's reload this one. Every time that we're going to click on the Nike brand, it will route us directly to, if you're going to take a look, it will now say brands-nike.php. Alright, so we'll start changing the contents now. So we will start with the banner text. It says women's shoes since we've just copied it. Obviously, we'll have to change that. It's going to look something like this so it, sh it should say Nike and then let's just copy this um, tag or subtitle or something sub brand or something okay women's shoes so here instead of women's shoes let's call it Nike and then all right let's just keep it as it is next is we're going Instead of saying all women's shoes, it should say all Nike shoes. Let's reload. All right, and then as for our um, sidebar, 
it's not gonna be this we're going to there will be some changes to it it should say something like this so right now it shows the brand obviously we don't want to display the brand first we want to uh, let the viewers or the consumers allow or we, we want them to be allowed to sort it by categories first so meaning if we're going to click if they're currently on nike for na they will be able to um sort it or filter it out by category meaning men women and kids so this is what's going to look like so on the first part we will display all the categories so it could be men all men women kids and then at the bottom that's going to be where the other brands will be displayed all right so obviously there will be some changes to it hold on <laughs> so let's look for our sidebar here it is So it now says all Nike shoes, but at the top it should display categories. Category. All right. So instead of brands, we're we're gonna have to let it display the category. That means we'll have men, women, and kids. So we're going to erase this. Obviously, we only we'll only be needing four. first one would be all and then for the href let's call it nike or brands nike.php because that is the default page and then on the second one we will call it brands nike and then men php so that means it will only display the nike shoes nike men shoes and let's rename it with men and then the second one, let's call it women. And then kids. All right. And then as for our link, we'll change it to brands, Nike, and then women.php. That means it will only display all the shoes, Nike shoes for women. And then and for the fourth one, it will display all the Nike shoes for kids. Save that. And then at the bottom, this is where we're going to add the other brands. So let's say um, other, other brands. And then here we're going to, okay, let's remove this. And then let's copy this. Let's rename it with to, um, so since we're already done with, the adidas uh nike so we'll add all uh, oh no. we'll add the other brand so we have adidas and then let's call it brands same thing that we did with the navigation brands adidas dot php and then let's copy and paste it um seven times one two uh, six times one two three four five six seven after the Adidas, it should be, uh, let's say, Jordan. And then let's rename it to brandsjordan.php. And then essentially, it's going to be the same thing with, their, with whatever it is that we did with the navigation a while ago. And then Puma. And then lastly, Jordan. All right, let's save that and let's reload. 
okay so the first thing that's going to display is it says nike of course and then let's just say that these are the nike shoes all the nike shoes so basically the consumers or the viewers will be able to filter it out by clicking either men women or, or kids so if you're going to click um men then it will display all the nike shoes for men so obviously it's not done yet since we haven't done that and then same thing for going to click women it will route them to a page that will display all the nike shoes for women and same with the kids and if they're going to click on the brands oops that's that's not the page that we want here it is okay if they're going to click on the brands they're gonna see adidas jordan and there are more vans it's the shoe puma and jordan so basically each time that you're going to click this it will route them to another um another brand all right okay so that's gonna be for our nike shoe so basically it's gonna be the same thing right now uh, don't worry about the products because we will work on that once we're already done with the php and my sql so essentially we're just going to create oops take a look here at the top on our navigation it says here that the women is active so let's go back to our code and let's go to the navigation link and let's remove the active class inside women let's save that let's reload the reason why it's because it will give con it will create confusion why is it saying why is it that women is highlighted even though we are under the brand let's reload that and instead perhaps we can make the brand lit up so let's go back to our code again and for the brand here in our class we perhaps we can add active the active class will allow the navigation link to be lit just like that meaning we're currently under one of the brands so let's proceed with the adidas so basically it's just going to be the same thing we're going to copy this and then let's create a new file let's call it brands adidas.php and then let's paste it and then we're just going to change some of the few things so instead of adidas let's call it and um, instead of nike let's call it adidas and then as for the taglines let's keep it as it is and as for the photos it would be up to you to change them okay so obviously if you're going to, if you're going to be doing this then you hung website obviously you have to replace the photographs as well but for the meantime For, for the meantime, I will keep I'll keep it as it is, and let let me get back to the brand Nike because I think there's one instance or one part that is wrong grammar. So it will say all Nike all Adidas shoes and here, and our sidebar so instead of saying adidas we'll replace it back to nike since we're currently on inside adidas already so let's change this to nike all right let's reload and then let's click on brand and let's go to adidas here it is it will say brands adidas.php and it's gonna say adidas all adidas shoes hold on All right, and let's check. It will now say Nike. So basically, it will do the same thing with the rest of our um, brands. So let's go to Under Armour. Let's copy this. And then new file. Let's call it Brands Under Armour .php. So let's paste it right here and then let's do the same thing we're going to change some of the contents from brand name so it will now say under armor and all under armor shoes and then here 
instead of saying under armor let's put it let's write um adidas.php i'm sorry adidas and then here brands adidas.php save that and then let's reload let's open up under armor and there it is all right so again we're going to do the same thing with the for the rest of the brand so i'm not going to do it today you can just do it yourself in case if your website contains multiple brands then make sure to create um web page for each brand okay this time around let's proceed with the product detail so let's let me show you let me show to you how it works so right now we're currently inside nike or let's go to men.php or now our men's shoes notice this is uh, these are the shoes that we'll be adding so whenever we want to make it look like whenever we click on the new view shoes it will display the information or the details of the shoes itself or in other words the product information or product details so what it does is let me let's let me get back to our presentation so for the product detail we're going to create a grid of photos of the shoes and then we're going to of course add a brand model description price and link to the order to to the order page add a breadcrumb with the brand category model and then add a recommendation section with at least four of the shoes other shoes of the same brand so what what exactly is a breadcrumb so this is a breadcrumb this one right here so i'm pretty sure um you've already seen this in any websites that you've visited before so our bread so basically this is just um it will serve as an information additional information or easy access to the product detail basically so to, to the page so our bread can will include the nike brand so if we're going to click the nike brand it will display all the nike shoes for nike uh, all the shoes for nike and then for the second breadcrumb it's going to be a link as well if we're going to click on that it will display all back to all of the night uh, men's shoes and of course our model name so we have here the grid of the pic photo grid of the product product photos and then we have here the brand the model a short description and then category and then price and then a link that will route us to the order page and then at the bottom it will display uh, recommendations for similar products uh, just like this all right so let's do that let's go back to our code and then we'll link it uh, basically you're going to be so basically we've already created a lot a lot of uh, products here uh, for the meantime we're just going to create one for this right here so that means if we're going to click this it will route us to the product detail so let's go back to our code and then let's create a new file oops control c let's create a new file and hold on let's call it product info.php so basically we're just going to copy let me see okay we're just going to copy um we'll copy all of this for the meantime and paste it right here but we're gonna have to remove some of the things so we're going to starting um, hold on right below our navigation bar we're going to erase starting from the banner up until here end of shoes display we're going to erase all of this so we only be having the navigation that's it uh, we're only gonna be keeping the navigation 
and then we're going to add the rest of this I will start with the breadcrumb and then the photo grade and then this one right here and then the recommendation so let's save that for the meantime and let's go back to our to our to the other web pages so far since we've already created a product link or the link itself let's go to from the first part let's go to men and then here's what you're going to do all of the products can okay? can we're going to change the link for these buttons let's look for that buttons for example this one right here view shoes so on our href obviously it's on hash meaning it's just on standby we will add this time product dash info dot php all right we're going to copy this and essentially just keep on replacing all of the view shoes button and replace it with this link save that same thing with women again pangitaw na to tanan nga mga view shoes button this one right here and let's replace the link with the actual location. Obviously, this is just for temporarily temporary purposes because once we're done with PHP and MySQL, we're going to replace all of this product detail. So just do the same thing with the rest for kids, for and uh, whatever it is on your web page, all the products for your web page. Let's go back to Asanaron, sa tong product info. And let's see, let's save that. Let's open up our website. Let's check. Let's reload. So let's check, uh, click on the view shoes. All right, so it will now route us to the product info. And right now, it's not looking very good. It's because obviously we haven't done anything to it yet. We'll start by adding our breadcrumb. So right below our nav bar, navigation we're going to create okay see we're going to create a comment and all right before but before that all right it's okay let's say let's call it breadcrumb And then at the bottom, we'll say end of breadcrumb. And then inside, we're going to create our division. Let's call it container. And then let's open up our examples. So if, you, if you can remember, I asked you to download the um, XUP examples. I'm sorry, the Bootstrap examples. So let me check it for you. And then let's look for breadcrumbs. All right. Um, Never, never mind. Uh, instead, um, go to getbootstrap.com. Basically, this, this would be our cheat, cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. All right. And then go to docs and then look, go to components and click on breadcrumbs. So here are some examples of bread, breadcrumbs. Obviously, we just have to copy them. We don't necessarily have to create it ourselves. So here we have three examples. We want this one right here, the third one. Because one is for the brand, for the category, and then for the model. So we're just going to copy this. This is the third one. Copy that. And let's paste it in our web page. Paste. Oops. And... All right. 
and then instead of saying home we'll replace it with the brand so since we're um, on Nike we'll call it Nike and then the href would be brands nike.php and then men category men's shoes let's replace it with uh men's.php a uh, men.php rather and then as for the data we'll we'll write here the model so for the meantime we'll just call it one of the product or the product that we've been displaying so it should be air force um, 107 All right let's save that and uh, let's reload all right so right now it's showing however it's not displaying anything it's because somehow it is b inside or below our navigation so we want to make sure na naka display siya pero nasa ilalim sa ato ang navigation here because our navigation is naka fixed man siya nga position so what we're going to do is we're going to add break lines multiple break lines so this is not the proper way to do it but this is the easy one so um here we'll paste it multiple times let's try three let's see if it will display here it starts to show up let's add one more okay here it is all right so we already have our breadcrumb this time around we'll add it's my sunday not only add um any just one right here all right and if you can remember these are um cards basically it's the same thing with what we did here so this is an example of a card and essentially if we're going to open it up this one right here is still a card however we're just going to remove the title and some basically all the other text included so how we're going to do that next uh, first is for let's go back to our code All right, let me move it right about here. Let's add a new comment. Let's call it um, hmm. Okay, let's call it photo grid. Okay. And at the bottom, let's say photo grid. All right. And then inside, we'll create our division again. Always remember, every time that we're going to create a section, we should always create a container or a division. And uh, let's say div. And let's use the class row. All right. So the class row will allow us to create automatically a grid for Bootstrap. So if every time that we'll use the class row, it will automatically create a grid. And then um, next is we're going, if you can notice, this is essentially two groups, two sections. So this section right here will contain the um, contain the photo, sorry, photo grid or photo gallery. And this section right here will contain the detail of our web page. This time we're going to create columns. So obviously there will be two columns. So this one, this column right here would be a larger one compared to this. So we'll just keep on trying which would be the proper column size to use. And here, if you can remember, we're going to Google Bootstrap column here, grid system. So we have. Oh, no, that's not it. Let's go back here. Let 
Ta da! Alright? So, if you can remember, the column SM called for 8. Basically, there are 12 columns, essentially. And then, we can decide which size to use depending on how many columns that we're going to add. So, obviously, since we're going to create two columns, so, and then the first column, two columns, this one would be the first one, this would be the second. This was bigger than this. So, let's try uh, 9. And then since we should always make it 12, so if this is 9, then this is 4, right? So let's do that. So open up our code. Let's create a division here again. And let's call it call large 9. Okay? And then right below it, we're going to create another column again. Let's call it, since it it is 9 and we want to make sure it's always 12 so we'll call call large 4 all right okay and then this time around we're going we're going to paste we're going to copy the cards so if you can remember just go to docs go to components and then cards and we want this but instead of uh, writing instead of copying in the entire thing we just want the picture so all we need to do is we're just going to copy this. Koto Bratasa. We'll copy this one right here. We'll paste it right here. And we just have to close our division. Okay. Here and instead of having dot 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 as our source, let's open up our folder real quick. Let's go as another on this PC and then XAMP HC Docs Fix. Alright, remember, I've already downloaded the photographs here. So, inside the images folder, and then brands, oh no, shoes rather. Okay. So, we're going to write all of it. We're going to use this for our web page. <laughs> so, obviously, we'll replace it with um, images. And then shoes. So again, let's review. So if we're under the index.php, we should go inside images. And then after that, we're going to go inside the shoes. And then af.jpg. So let's start with one. af.jpg. And then we're just going to copy and paste all of it. Let's add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's just keep using different file names. So AF1, AF1-2, AF1-2. Oh, AF1, sorry. AF1, and then AF1-2.jpg. And then, come on, uh, AF1-3. AF1-4 and AF AF1-6 na lang dash 6 so let's save that and let's see how it looked like alright it's good it's displaying however if you notice it's displayed horizontally because by default if we're going um, since we haven't decided if it's going to be grid yet. So by default, all the elements will be arranged horizontally. Now, if you want this to be, um, if you want it to be, um, kind of a grid, then let's go back to our code. And remember, here, call large 9, we'll add the class row because the row will allow our, or will turn our, contents to a grid. So if we're going to add a row, here's what's going to happen. 
Oops, hold on. Alright, my apologies. This is wrong. Um, hold on. Let me try it again. Let's erase all of it. This is not the proper way of doing it. Let's erase all of that. Let's stick with the first one. Instead of copying the image tag only, we have to copy the entire thing. So we'll copy all of this. Alright? So let's try again. Let's copy this. And let's paste it. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six times. Alright? So instead of just pasting or copy and pasting the image um, tag, we'll have to copy the entire thing. Because we want to copy the entire, um, let's say, card. So let's do the same thing. AF1, AF1-2, AF1-3, AF1-4, and then AF1-6. So these are the file names for our photos. Let's save that and let's reload. Okay. Alright. Oops, our port of the sixth photo is not displaying. Let me clarify it. Let me check it out. AF1-6.jpg. Okay, I forgot to add 1-6. Save that and then let's reload again. Here it is. All right. And then on the right side, we're going to add the details of our shoes. All right. So let's go back. So remember, we already created a column for it, which is large four. So obviously, since this is nine, this is four, we want to make sure it's all 12. And we want to make it look like this kinantanga mahimo siyang nani so let's get back to it so obviously we want to write it below here uh, let's add a comment um, product detail and at the bottom we'll add another comment and uh, product detail okay So we're just going to, um, let's say, add the product name. So obviously we want it to be, to look big. So we want, obviously we'll be using the H1 header. So H1. And then let's call it Nike Air Force. 107 okay and then after that we're going to add tagline or description so for the meantime we'll use p and then we'll copy this Let's check it out. Let's see. Let's reload. Oh, right now it's displaying at the bottom. Let me check. Hold on. It shouldn't be displayed at the bottom since we've already created a row. Hold on. Let me check. Alright. So we'll add a row. Is that right? Let's check. Okay, hold on. Oh, how could I be wrong? Okay. <laughs> okay, so 9 plus 4 is not 12. Therefore, we have to change it to 3. That's it. My apologies. I haven't got enough sleep last night. Let's save. So 9 and 3 to make it 12. Here it is. Alright. Next is we're going to create this. So we have brand and a Nike model. So basically the same thing and 
what is the easiest way to create this? That will be using tables. So let's open up Google. Uh, let's open up our Bootstrap cheat sheet and then look for table. This will give that this will help us how to create tables. Now we want a table that doesn't have any design to it. Let's see if we can find that on the example. I don't think okay here it is so we have a borderless table so we're just going to copy this one right here and uh, let's paste it in our code as an add-on okay here let's paste it and then um, I'm not sure if you can remember, but basically here's what we're going to do. If we're going to, if you can remember the parts of a table, so table we have row and columns, right? So this is row, the horizontal lines, and then columns. Okay, so if we're going to look back to our example on the page, so this would be our row. Connect. sila. And then our columns would be this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create the first row. So the first row would be brand and then Nike. Right? So let's go back to our code. So we'll create a PR. And then here we want to we want to create we want to write the brand and then I can notice that the brand is bold meaning a brand is highlighted so we will use a heading um, table heading so how are we going to do that we'll be using the ph and then let's call it uh, brand and then td for the column. All right, so the th is for heading. Basically, it's essentially the same thing. It's still column. However, heading meaning the title will be set to bold. Let's check that. Okay, deletion makita. So I'm thinking I have to fix it. Let's go back to our CSS and let me open up my Adobe Colors. I want all the headers to have this. So we're going to copy this. And then let's open up our CSS. Uh, perhaps we can change it to hmm, table. Let's say table primary. Let's, let's replace with the primary. Let's see how it looks like. Look like. Alright, it's okay. Let's we don't want that. Let's remove it. Okay, let's go back to our colors. Or bootstrap. Let's look for text color again to give us an idea. So we have primary something like that. So we want the as an add-on text color. Text magoda tungi pangita. Color. Alright, for some reason I cannot find the text color, but basically here's how it is. 
we're going to use a class for our Nike and let's call it text oops hold on if we're going to set to text primary here's what's gonna look like primary so remember for the colors we have primary secondary success so on and so forth but let's let's try the primary and let's see if it does anything to it okay still black all right right now it's blue because primary is blue we want it to be either light or secondary let's try secondary na lang sa secondary see that let's reload okay i think that's better and as for the brand here it is let's go back to our code and now our css we'll add it right here um it's again ito mm. th all right we'll add a th and then let's set the color to atong copy again let's save that let's reload Hold on. All right. So for some reason, it took a little while for it to be reloaded. But anyway, here it is. Uh, just in case, if every time that you're going to refresh your page, it doesn't the the changes doesn't take effect. Make sure to press Shift F5. Okay. Shift F5. Uh, basically, that would be a hard reset or hard refresh. So if Control R Control R or reload does not work. Shift F5. Okay, so let's proceed. As All right, let's create another TR for our second line. Oops. And then what else? So it's another. We want the model and then category. So same thing, we're going to create a TH, let's call it model, and then TD, that's going to be Air Force 107, and then another row, oops, and then TH, let's call it category. And then TD, let's call them, and let's say men's shoes. Let's save that, and then let's reload. There it is. All right, so let's do the same thing as for the, we're just going to add class text secondary for each of our columns. Okay, I'm not sure if my face is on the way while I'm editing the text. Basically, this is what we added. That on CSS. Oops. Reload. And uh, hold on, let me add this one right here. Let's try to put it inside a division because for some reason, the table, the go egg space on table. Let me just check if this will work. Okay, yes, it would. Okay, so just to fix the distance or katong taas kaya space, we have to enclose all of these information inside a division. 
All right, and then next is we're going to add the price. So I think this is H2 and then a link to order now. So that's easy. We just have to create here an H2. H3, I think. And for the meantime, let's add a price for 995.00. And then a button. So... So button class button and then we'll say order now let's set all right and then we're just going to add uh, perhaps a space or a horizontal line so here we're going to add hr that means horizontal line so it's not showing Hold on. Alright, it should display a horizontal line here, however, um, it's dark. So I think we can also change that. Let's go back to our CSS. Let's add HR. We'll just try if this will work. Color. And then. But if it doesn't, it's okay. Alright, it works. Alright, so, and at the bottom, we're going to add the recommendations just like this. And a product detail, photo grid. Okay, right below the photo grid, we're going to create another comment and let's say recommendations and an end of recommendations. And then we're going to create a heading, so H4, oops, HR h4 and then let's say you may also like and then same thing we're going to create a division and let's call it row and then this time around we're just going to copy all of this so obviously we can find it Makita mo na to siya kani. So let's go to one of our of the pages that we created. So let's say kids or atong tasa men. Para sigurado. And then let's look for let's okay kana. We'll copy this. And then let's go back to product info. Let's paste it right here. Let me just arrange it real quick para nindo tanaw na tong page, uh, tong codes. Right, and then let's copy and paste it. One, two, three, four. Let's add four and let's reload. Here, okay. But it's displayed at the right side or the left side, so it's easy to fix that. On our row, let's create Okay, sa na ano ba na ako niya sa okay sa yop. All right, so may make, make we have to make sure that it's still inside our uh container. So na butang na ako siya sa gawa. So let me just copy this and let me put it inside our container. Kani. Okay, let's save that. Let's reload. Alright, here it is. 
Okay, let's just add a, a little bit of space before the Yumi also like. So we'll use the BR. And let's add, let's say two of them. Uh, perhaps just one will be good. Alright, okay, that's it. So that's it. That's gonna be for our product detail. And then this time we're going to create this admin add shoes all right so we're going to create this so this would be a form that will allow us basically this is for the administrators page so so far we haven't done any administrators page yet uh we'll we'll we're just going to do it at once we get go along with once we finalize this website but for the meantime uh we'll just temporarily add a folder so let's open up our folder here Kicks, um, then kicks. HT docs, and then kicks. So this might be a little tricky. It's because we're going to create a folder, a whole new folder for the admin. So there will be some changes on our design or on our how we code things. Um, we'll get back to it in a moment. So we, we, we will create an admin. So basically this will... The admin users will have the full control on adding, editing, deleting um, shoes or products to the website. And one of the things that we're going to start with is adding shoes. So obviously this will not work yet, but we're just going to create the page for it to be ready. So inside our admin, we will create a folder, a uh, file here. And let's call it add shoes. So the add shoes that PHP that our design would will be similar. Parehara na siya onya sa to ang edit shoes later on. So let me refresh it. So inside admin add shoes, all right. And then this time it's gonna look like this. So obviously we're just going to still we're just going to copy canning navigation. So. Let's go back to product info. Let's copy this. Let's paste it right here. And we'll remove everything. We'll remove everything under the nav bar. So from the breadcrumb up until the footer. Here we're going to erase this. Now, unsa to kung giingon nga mga kinahanglatong utbon. Since right now, if you can remember, this page, the add shoes.php is inside another folder. Let's go back. Since nakabutang siya folder, we have to make sure that every time that we will use the CSS, the bootstrap, and everything, we have to make sure that we have to go outside the folder first. Kinalan tamugawa sa, sa admin nga folder so that we can use all of the assets that will be that we've used, like the bootstrap, the CSS, so on and so forth. So I'm pretty sure I didn't know how to do it, but just to review. Let's go back to all of our links. So let's start with our bootstrap. Right now, nakabutang siya sa bootstrap folder. And again, the, the add shoes is inside the admin folder. So we'll have to go outside. So to do so, we're going to add this. Dot dot slash. This will allow the compiler to go outside the folder first before going in to the bootstrap, so on and so forth. And let's do the same thing for our folder. Uh, footer so dot dot slash and then for our script dot dot slash all right so let's check that let's see if it works i'm not sure if there's any changes but if we're going to replace it with admin and then add shoes.php all right so it should it should work just the same it's because we're able to fix it now what happens is, so they may tabo kung mawala ni slash slash. For example, we're going to remove this. Kana lang. Try rato na remove. And notice nga dili mo display ang ato ang. Uh, dili mo display atong footer. And it will here give us an error message saying this. Warning. Include footer. 
uh, failed to open stream, meaning they are not able to open that particular file because di niya madumduman. Okay. Alright, so sa itong unahon, we will add our sidebar. So the actions will be view all shoes, add new shoes, and then admin for sign out. So same thing that we've been doing for quite a while already. Let's go back to product info. Let's copy our sidebar. Bread from um, let's try in the brands na lang. and then let's look for our sidebar here it is we're just going to copy this okay uh, before before that obviously we want to create standard procedure we're going to create a container And then inside our container, we're going to create another division, which is for grid. All right. So that means everything that is inside here would should be grid. And then that's the time that we're going to add our sidebar. So we're going to copy this, including the title and end of sidebar here. sidebar okay let me just arrange the code real quick para nindutan ako na tong codes okay save that Let's reload. Okay. And we just have to remove something. Alright. Actually, we, we can keep this. And let's call. Uh, for the meantime, let's put our name to it. Meaning, nakalag in kunota. For example, ako ang admin. So, I'll put my name. So, this is my name. Oops, nawala. And then let's just remove the link. Okay, remove na ko ang link lang. Let's try. Alright, okay, that's it. And then, say natong button, actions. So, we'll replace the category with actions. And then there are only two of them, so we'll remove this. And we'll replace it with view all shoes. View, I'm sorry. View all shoes. So we'll create a koan. Magama ko na folder, uh, page soon that says view. choose all and then for add new shoes so basically that's the same thing that we're on add shoes okay and then at the bottom we'll have admin and then sign out Let's remove all of this. Let's erase it for the meantime. And let's say sign out. Okay, so we have actions and admin sign out. Next is we want to add this. So obviously this is a form. So let's open up. Oops. So since the first line is three, remember same thing that we did a while ago. 
Let me just arrange it real quick. Alright, we'll create another. Alright. We'll create another division, column, and that's gonna be the form. End of form. And inside it, we're going to create a division that is gonna be call large and then nine. Since obviously we want it to be twelve. So this division will contain the form. Okay. So we will add an H1. And let's say add new shoes. And then a form. Okay. So here it is. This would be a little tricky because but anyway, don't you worry because bootstrap cut has got you covered. Let's look for form. Form on gipangita brad. Form. Tada. Okay. So obviously the, here are some of the documentation for forms. You can this we can practice. You can read more of this. So we have hold on. Inside our docs we have forms. So let's basically you can read whatever it is. You can read all of this to learn more about it. But um hold on. Let's go to floating label because I want to make it look like this. So again, basahara niyo, please study this. But for the meantime, allow me to go directly to hold on. From control. It's okay. Uh, let's go back to our code for now. And then let's create a form. And then for the action, let's, for the meantime, let's just write get. But sooner, we'll, we'll uh, talk about get or actions, form actions, whenever we're go, be it, kung mag discuss natawag PHP. And then for the class, let's use form, form control. Diba mo na nakabutan dere? Form control. Kana. Basically, this is for bootstrap still. And then here. Let's start working on our form. And then, Superman. Let's start by. Kana. But let's start with the category. So let's open up and then let's go to form and then since this is a select or if I'm not mistaken, list niya. So let's look for a form that will give us link. Kane selects, All right? So this is what we want. So we want to copy this and let's paste it right here. All right, and then this is category, so we'll say select a category. All right, but we don't want okay, so, uh, not lang sa, and then we have men's shoes. And then women's shoes. And then kids' shoes. Alright, and then as for value, we're going to copy that. We'll do the same thing for the value. Men's shoes. Women's shoes. And then kids' 
choose. All right, and then let's call it category. Let's check it out. Let's see how it look like. Okay, nanatay tong una. So we have category. So this is the label, the label four meaning kane. This is what it is, and then select category. Now we ko ganahan tanga ang kat select category dili siya pwede mapili kaning word nga select a category because this is just a guide. So how are we going to do so? So the option we're not gonna make it selected, but we're gonna be making it disabled. Check that. That's it. All right. But we want to display it still, so we want to keep it selected but disabled. We're not going to display it yet, but we don't want to select this time. All right. Let's try again. If we're going to remove the disabled, we can save. Okay. Reload. Now, we can select it. So that will cause some problems once we'll be doing our MySQL soon. So we don't want that. We want to make sure that we can only select men, women, and kids and disable the category. That's why we have to add disable. Oops. How do you select? Uh, disabled. All right. Kana din ato siya pwedeng i-select. Next is it's command um, brand. So basically, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy this, and then let's call it brand, and select the brand. All right. So we have Nike. And then for the value, we'll also change it to Nike. And then we have Adidas. Let's do the same thing for the value, Adidas. And then we have Under Armour. Same thing. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we have Vans. Let's call it Vans. And then we have New Balance. Same thing. All right. What is the value for? Para sa day ang value. The value will be used in our MySQL lesson soon. Para mas save sa database. Ang word, uh, ang whatever it is that is inside the value will be the ones na mas save sa atong database soon. And then Puma. And then lastly, we have Jordan. All right. And then let's save that. Let's reload. All right, so we have brand. However, dog will I see ya? So um, let's see. All right, so we will add. Go on. We will add a margin. So to do so, we'll just add. Okay, at the that one class. The form floating, if I'm not mistaken. All right. So, the form floating, we're going to add this margin bottom, and then let's add three. But this is still bootstrap, so margin bottom three. So we'll do, we'll keep on doing that. We're going to add three. I think that it's thirty percent, or I'm not sure, but here it is at the bottom. So the next one would be model name. So this one, this time around, let's go back to our co co um, bootstrap, and then let's look for 
the standard select. Okay, is this what we want? Alright, grant balcony. So we will copy this. So we'll copy this one right here. Oops, let's duplicate this for now. And then here, instead of using select, we will paste. Let's remove this. Alright, input. And then this time, let's call it model name. Let's remove the name. Okay, let's just say model and then for the value uh, same thing we'll say model. Alright, and the value this time we'll say value because we have to enter it ourselves. Save that. Let's reload. Okay. And then Let's do the same thing. Let's copy and paste it below. Let's add the price, product, and description. The price, product, and description. As for the price, or instead of saying email, that should be a text. And then text. And then text. Price, product link, alright, so let's remove this, let's save that, let's reload, oops, Save na po copy. Let, let me remove all of this. Okay, let's try again. Instead of email, let's call it text. And then we'll have price. Check. Oops, no money. Div. Hold on. Okay. Wala na to na book na solo di ay. Okay, that's for the price. Okay, and then let's copy it again. That's for product link. Hmm. Hold on. I'm going to go there on div. Alright, my apologies. Copy. Okay. 
And next is product description. And since product description medyo magkataas man siya, notice the product description can be changed. Uh, we can modify the height, right? So this is a text area. So I will just do the same thing. We're going to copy this. Space it, but instead of text, let's call it input type text area. Same thing. Let's reload. Alright, I don't think that works. So let's go back to our bootstrap and then let's look for text area that I'm cutting. I'll copy this. And let's replace it. And let's say product description. Okay, so this is a text area. Next is color. So because we want the one, we want the to add an option that basically we can also add color. We can also set the color. So let's do that. I think na dire. But it will be hard for me to find it. it. It will take a lot of time, so I'll just take my word for it. So to add a color, yeah, I'm just going to copy and paste it. So notice that our input type is now says color. We're going to save that and reload. It will give us an option for color. And then next is kani selection. So let's go back. Uh, make sure we're still under floating label. And let's look for selection. Yeah. File input. So we want as man as atong ganahan ani. Okay, we want to copy this. In a second so we're going to copy this and we'll place it right here Hold on. I think we should go back to floating labels. I'm sorry. Let me erase this. We don't want this. We want to make it consistent. Let's go to floating labels and Okay, my apologies for some reason the internet stopped, but it's okay. Um Here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to type it in and try to follow. Alright. So we're going to create a division and let's call it 
MB3. Again, that is margin bottom 3. And then uh, we're going to create a label. And then form file. Hold on. Oh no, I'm sorry. We're going to create an input. And then let's use form control class. And then type file. And then let's add an ID form file. Okay, and then we're going to create a label for form file. All right. Okay, so we have here class. I'm sorry, ID form file, and then we're going to label this for this ID. And then let's put a class. Um, form label. And then let's say cover photo. Save that and let's reload. Oops, that's just obus. I think we have to move the label back to the top. Okay, that's just obus. Alright, And then as for the product, so this is the cover photo. Munisha Amugawas, for example, if we're open, we're going to open up. Okay, Munisha Amugawas Dere, Muni cover photo. And then the next set would be Kane. And so not only upload. So we're going to create product photos. So basically it's gonna be the same thing, but na naashai changes because you, this time around we can add multiple. Here we can only add one, for example, can I picture? We can only select one. Notice we cannot select multiple. But here we can add multiple photos like that so how are we going to do that for some reason my internet's not working so I'm just going to type in directly so let's open up our code again and then let's use uh, let's create a division and then let's call it MB5 that will give us a larger margin and then we're going to create an input and then uh, form control still and then type is file but for the ID we'll add it form file multiple okay And then at the top, we're going to create a label for form file multiple and then class form label and then let's say product photos. Save that and then let's reload. Here, let's check. Let's see if we can add multiple for now. Oh, it's not. Hold on. Let me reload it. Form file. Okay, I think I have to capitalize the file and M. Hold on. Let me check. Because this is for from Bootstrap, my good. Let's see. Let me get up and hold on. I 
other day. <laughs> Nalimot ko butang ane. Multiple nga word. Alright. Let's reload. Choose file. Okay, notice it now says choose files instead of choose file only. Alright, we can add, we can now add multiple files. And then lastly, we're going to create submit. I'm just going to paste it right here. Oops. All right, just have to copy that and then save it right here. Reload, add shoes. Okay, obviously it's not working now since we don't we haven't added any functionalities yet. But anyway, this is gonna be the finalization of our pages. Obviously, there will be tons of pages that we're going to add more once we we're already working on our PHP, CF, PHP and MySQL. Uh, lessons all right so that'll be all for today so on your project on your uh, please continue working on your uh, website make sure that you've already finalized all the pages that you'll be using for your website and then that's going to be part of your midterm examination next week so i will just post which what day um mid uh, midterm perhaps that will be Thursday na lang para I'll give you 24 hours to finish it or maybe uh, not really 24 hours but morning to afternoon and then on the second part you're going to submit niyo tanan nga mga websites so I'm going to um, limit how many web pages you're going to attach so obviously you should have dapat na naka landing page na nakai katong um, for different categories product info and then adding or adding sh editing shoes okay so thank you so much for uh, making this part of the video stand by for the assignment and um, further instruction and announcement in our gc thank you so much and have a good day god bless